hello everyone welcome to my channel in this video we are going to make this group node with the geometry nodes this node allow to subdivide as well as offset the mesh based on our weight so in this case i am using empty distance from this empty to control subdivisions as well as the scale and this have a different uh, settings further control like uh, subdivision levels then you have this offset radius then the individual x y scale then direction and otherwise if the direction is zero it is basically pointing along the normal of the base mesh then you can control the triangulate so you can connect these uh, nodes in series to get a uh, different level of uh, subdivisions you can download this group node with all these features from my patreon page and all these project files so let's get start then i'm going to add a plane so let's add the geometry nodes first we need the subdivide mesh so let's enable the wireframe so that we can see the number of subdivisions like so so then i want to offset this newly created vertices along the normal of the base mesh so let's first capture the normals change this to vector so now we have the on these normals so let's add the set position node and if i directly plug this to offset it's going to offset all the vertices but i want only offset this um, this newly created one so let's add the mesh point node to create uh, the weight for this uh, this vertex so connect this to this mesh and change this to face so if we view this so we have a point at the center of on this original uh, mesh so based on that we're going to use the proximity node to create the weight uh, for this on this annually created vertices so change this to point because i have only points uh, from this node and for the position we're going to use the position of the subdivide uh, mesh this one now if i add the math node vector math node and change this to scale and plug this distance into the scale we can see that we are affecting the only these vertices but i want the effect in opposite so let's add the map range node change this to one and or other is zero so now this will be is controlling the scale for the offset and this is controlling the radius of uh, the offset so let's hide other inputs outputs that we don't need so here then i want to triangulate uh, the mesh so you can also triangulate uh, before or after the set position node according to your requirement so in this case i'm going to triangulate after on the on this offset so change this longest uh, diagonal so now we are triangulating the mesh as well as offsetting so another thing we can add here is that let's add the math to math node and if we add something to this normal we can basically change the direction so if we add something we are changing the directions but we also changing the scale so let's fix this change this to normalize so we are only changing the direction scale is controlled by this value and we also want to control the scale for all the xyz direction so let's add this change it to multiply this to one so now we can control the scale for xyz direction 
overall scale is controlled by this value so we have uh, this all this setup so here and so let's subdivide this plane now i don't want to offset or subdivide uh, this all the faces of this face we want to only subdivide few of them so to control that we need to add the separate geometry node so we can select uh, the mesh with this selection then we can apply this operation on that so let's plug this to geometry and this uh, to the this way input changes to the face now based on this selection we can select the part of base mesh with this selection and the inverted we can join uh, with this with the selection so basically we have added all the things so let's group this all the the setup into a different group node so here so first we want is the uh, selection then is the subdivision level next we want to control the radius then the scale then on the x y the individual scale also the direction and here i also want to control the triangulation so let's add the switch node so plug this into this and this into this and then so now we can control this uh, triangulation outside from this group node so okay let's rename these all these inputs now if we go outside of this group node we have this setup so now we can control everything outside from this uh, group node another thing i want to do is that i want to also bring these inputs as output from this group node so that we can connect these group nodes in a series now if we go outside from this group node we can connect them in a series now we can control the offset radius now here you can change different modes the triangulation to get different patterns so now let's uh, control on this selection and the scale offset with some weight so let's add a uh, empty and let's bring this empty here then we need the position node then is the vector math node and calculate uh, the distance uh, between these and um, this empty and all these vertices now we have this and if i add the compare node here we can control the selection change this to less than equal to and plug this to selection let's maybe point five see now let's also add math node to and divide this with the scale so that we can affect the fall off with the scale of this empty now we are controlling the selection with this weight let's control this uh, scale offset at the map range node plug this uh, to this value and this to the scale and we want this to be 1 and other one is 0 
okay so let's uh, delete this plane so let's add a uh, icosphere and let's scale this empty down so we have this effect that i have shown in my intro video so another thing we can do is that let's duplicate this change this to one let's connect this uh, to the group output node so that we can use this way to control the color of on um, this object so let's also add the set material node and select the material shading material here so first we need the attribute node so let's also give a name for our this output attribute see we can we have this weight um, in the material so let's add the mix rgb node connect this to this and this to the material output so we change this color to white and this to this purple color something like this and we can control this this value from here and you can create different pattern just by changing on this settings of this triangulate node okay so here you can also add a mesh to curve node uh, to convert these edges into a curve then choose uh, a different material to create these boundary lines so and the number of subdivision you can control just by plugging different these nodes in a series okay this is first level second level and third level so this is it for this tutorial and if you want to download the final finished project files as well as a final group note with all these features you can download uh, from my patreon page if you like this work then please do support me and subscribe to my channel for more updates until next time happy noting bye